Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how Bezier curves work. Uh, the last challenge we introduced an uh, animation timing function, property, and a few keywords that change the speed of an animation over its duration. CSS offers an option other than keywords that provides even finer controls over how animations, uh, how the animation plays out through the use of Bezier curves. In CSS animations, Bezier curves are used with cubic Bezier function. Uh, the shape of the curve represents how the animation plays out. The curve lives on a one by one coordinate system. The x axis of the coordinate system is the duration of the animation. Think of it as a, as a time scale. The, and the y axis, axis is the change in animation. The cubic Bezier function consists of four main points and s that sit on this one by one grid, P0, P1, P2, and P3. P0 and P3 are set for you. They are the beginning and end points, uh, which are always located respectively at the origin, 0, 0, and 1, 1. Uh, you set the X and Y values for the other two points and where you place them in the grid dictates the shape of the curve for the animation to follow. Hmm. This is done in CSS by declaring the X and Y values of the P1 and P2 anchor points in the form of X1, Y1, X2, and Y2. Pulling it all together, here's an example of the Bezier curve in CSS code. So you have your animation, animation timing function, uh, the cubic Bezier is 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. In the example above, the X and Y values are the equivalent uh, for each point. Uh, X1 is equal to 0.25, which is equal to Y1. X1 is equal to Y1, and X2 is equal to 0.75, which is equal to Y2. So this is X1 and this is Y1. And this is x2, this is y2, which if you remember from geometry class results in a line that extends from the origin to point one one. This animation is a linear change of an element during the, el during the length of an animation and is the same as using the linear keyword. In other words, it changes at a constant speed. Hmm. Okay. So for the element with the ID of ball one, so again, we've got balls and then we have ball one, ball two. Our keyframe is bounce. Bounce is uh, the keyword for both balls. Uh, it was well, the keyword for all balls. Um, yeah. So for the element with ID of ball one, change the value of the animation timing function property from linear to its equivalent cubic Bezier. Hmm, okay. Ball one, right now it's animation uh, timing function is linear and they want us to change it to cubic Bezier and then use the point, use the point values given in the example above. The value of the animation timing function property for the equivalent of ball one should be the linear equivalent of Bezier function. The value of animation property should be the uh, property for the example with ball two should not change. Uh, wow, interesting. What happened when I changed that? So that as they're linear, it seems like ball one and ball two. So we have two balls, ball one, ball two. Ball one is uh, over here, left 27%. Uh, ball 2 is 57%. I'm sure if we put this to 97%, this ball would be on the edge of the screen. So we know this is ball 1, this is ball 2. Um, what we're doing is changing the property from linear to its equivalent cubic Bezier function. And so when we change here, watch the balls right now. Huh, interesting. It's going slow, fast, slow. And that has to do with this Bezier curve. Hmm, interesting. We run the tests. Doesn't pass. Should be the value of animation timing function property for the element of ball one should be the linear equivalent Bezier, cubic Bezier function. 
linear equivalent for for the element with the ID of ball one. Change the value animation timing function property from linear to its equivalent cubic Bezier function. Use the points of the values of given above. Interesting. So they just want us to copy and paste this in there. So I'm just copying and pasting this in here. I've run the test now. I know that passes. Cubic Bezier function. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this into uh, Wikipedia to just get a better idea. Bezier curve. Hmm. A param parametric curve used in computer graphics and related fields. The curve, which is related to the Bernstein polynomial, is named after Pierre Bezier, who used it in 1960s to design curves for the bodywork of cars. Hmm. Other uses include the design of computer fonts and animation. Bezier curves can be combined. Oh, and, oh, this is cool. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, okay, so there's a lot to geek out here. Um, what happened here? If we were to undo all this. So I'm pressing Command, Shift, Z to bring back the answer. We know that this is the right answer. We've already tested it. Now I'm going to go Command, Z all the way back. So linear, we see it. What do we see? The ball on the 27%, which is this side, it's linear, so it's, it's dropping at the exact same rate as the ball on the side. And now if I return it to the rate here, we're doing a cubic Bezier curve, which doesn't seem to affect it at all. And this is the right answer. So this is a strange one. It seems as if, uh, I'm not really sure. But that's the answer for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.